Hi, I'm Lisa Schmidt from In The Zone Agility. And today I wanna to talk to you about treats and toys. Um, so somebody asked me, when do I use treats? When do I use toys? So I am a toy, I am a toy driven trainer. I always have a toy in my hand when I'm, when I'm, I'm training agility. Um, but I do use treats in the beginning. So when I first get a puppy, and if I get a rescue dog or a new dog, I will use treats to teach them to come. I will use treats to do sits and downs and um, spins and shadow handling um, and even recalls to my side and give them treats. Uh, so I do use treats um, and again, a lot in the beginning. And then if I'm having a hard time with getting my dog to come towards me or into me, I might use a treat for that. Um, but as soon as I can transfer over to a toy, I'm going to use a toy. I like having a toy because I like having the ability to reward my dog instantaneously for when they did do something right. So whenever they do something right, um, exercises over toys come in, I'll say yes, and I chuck my toy. Um, I actually try to throw my toy at my dog. Um, okay, so that they're coming at me more and I toss the toy to them because I believe that's safer. I also love the Lotus or the Holy Roller because I like big balls and I think the big ball is a lot safer to have. Okay, um, then like a little ball because they can grab the, the Holy Roller and go. Um, so in general, I have a toy in my hand when I'm training. I think a lot of times people are afraid to use toys when they're training because their dogs get crazy and they get high and they all they want to do is think about the toy. Um, I use a toy to actually teach my dog self-control and to learn to not take the toy unless I give them permission to take the toy. So like I could, you know, keep the toy all over his face. He's not gonna grab it until I say, okay, get it. Um, until I say, okay, and give him permission to actually take the toy, right? Um, so I think that if you have a toy, if you have a dog that's crazy about toys, I think it's actually, okay, in your best interest to teach your dogs toy manners so that that will help to teach them to be in their head and to think as opposed to be crazy, crazy, oh my God, I have a toy. If you can teach, use the toy to teach them to actually think and think in their head, be in their head, um, that will help you when you start trialing and stuff because you'll, they'll be a little bit higher probably at trials. So that kind of can help simulate that just a little bit. Okay. Um, so I will always use treats when I do shadow handling stuff. So when I do shadow handling, okay, Tan. So like when I do my shadow handling and my warm up stuff, I will use treats then. Um, but when I am training agility, 99.9% .9 of the time I have a toy in my hand. I also use toys or treats when I start training contacts. So I will tr use treats to train my foundation contact behaviors, backing up to stuff or whatever I'm going to do. Um, and then when I get them on, when I start doing contacts, I will reward them with treats on the contacts. Uh, but once they are good about doing the contacts, then I quickly transfer over to being able to throw a toy. So if you have a dog, okay, get it. If you have a dog that doesn't like toys, so Emmy's not a big toy fan, but she does like the Lotus Ball. So, you know, there are many options out there now that have treats where you could put treats in a toy and you could still toss the toy. So I still like to use this as opposed to just giving my dog treats all the time too. So I put the treats in the Lotus Ball and I can, okay, chuck my Lotus Ball and then the dog could go get the Lotus Ball and get rewarded with a treat, but also be learning to drive towards something and not always come back to me to get treats. So if you have a dog that doesn't like toys, you can use a toy dispensing toy like the Lotus Balls. They have tree tuggers. They have a, a bunch of different kinds of treats right now. Um, the Lotus Ball still is my favorite because I still can chuck that sucker a little bit farther and I like to be able to throw the toy and throw the toy in the location that my dog has done something great. So if I'm working distance, they stay far away. I say yes. I toss my toy out there once they turn and start looking at me. Um, if um, I'm working close, I will use the toy and I'll toss a toy close to me. 
Okay. So I hope that kind of answers your question about like, when do you use treats? When do you use toys? Um, I, I find it just much easier to use. I personally like using a toy because a, I, it helps teach my dog self-control. They learn to think using a toy by the way that I train my toy with my toys and how I train the toy. Like they can just grab the toy when they want. They have, to, I release them to the toy. Um, all right. Okay. Bye.